Well, since we've covered what to know about the supine position and why to be careful not to overuse it, would you please tell us today what to do instead and give us some ideas for everyday life? So, how can we avoid the negative effect of the supine position? We can do a couple of things. For example, number one, we can avoid the total supine line itself. We can replace it with what we call a 45 degree supine or inclined supine position. This will be more safe for the skull because it eliminates most of the pressure on the skull bones. It will be more safe and effective for his vestibular system so it won't be over activated from the supine position itself. And also it will be more safe for the visual system and the gaze stability for the child to have more visual pursuiting and tracking more safely in the supine 45 degree. Also, if the child can hold another position other than the supine position, it will be recommended to do it in prone and we can even do it more effective if we combine it with the compression therapy, which is wrapping the child in like a mat or something with a soft texture and put the child in his tummy time for a long time in the home or like we call it in the swaddling, which is a very effective wrapping method for the child. It, it, it's improved that it helps in the building stability in the muscle strengthening and even integrating some reflexes like the starter and the more reflex and the asymmetric chronic neck reflex. And the child can be put on a pillow when he is prone, so his back will be extended and his pelvis will be in contact with the ground. This is more good alignment for the body and he can eat and play and watch television in this position for a long time and also will be a safe replacement for the supine line itself.